Live from Studio 46 in the Citrix Broadcast Studios, it's Tech Talks To Go. I'm your host, Sean Donahue. Tech Talks To Go is an informal, conversational series that features industry experts and subject matter heroes. We talk about the subjects you want to talk about and dive deep into technical matter. Now, let's see who's on this week's version of Tech Talks To Go. All right, welcome to Tech Talks To Go for another exciting episode. And I am thrilled, as always, but I actually mean it this time, to have today's guest. Because today's guest is a longtime friend of mine and drives one of really one of the most exciting products here at Citrix that I can think of. So welcome to the show, Kariti Valley Sherla. Kariti, welcome. Hey, thanks, Sean. It's great to be here. <laughs> All right. Hey, man, I'm super excited to have you here. As always, love hanging out with you. Kariti is one of our rock stars at shows like Microsoft Ignite, Citrix Synergy, Citrix Summit. You can catch him at all these shows. And of course, you can catch his uh, YouTube presentations uh, on the topic du jour today, Kariti, which is what? It's something essential. I know that. What's our topic <laughs> yeah. today? I'm excited to talk about Zenap Essentials today. <laughs> awesome. And uh, Kariti, as always, before we get into the technical nature, and I know you've got a great demo teed up for us as well. Uh, let's just get to know Kariti a little bit, uh, uh, a little better. This is something I hear in my house all the time. Let's get to know Kariti a little bit better. It's strange to hear it at home, but on this show here, uh, titled Tenure and Task, what is your official title here at Citrix, Kariti? Hey, Sean. So uh, my title is Principal Product Manager. Um, okay. Uh, I've been with Citrix for a little over 10 years now. 10 spend years? Most of, yeah. Uh, spend most of my time in engineering, was working mostly on Zenapp uh, before I moved into product management. Uh, my primary responsibilities right now include uh, Zenapp Essentials, Secure Browser, and I'm also responsible for the LTSR strategy. Yeah. Okay, so for our viewers out there today, uh, they may not have heard. We're going to cover Zen App Essentials here today, obviously. <laughs> Secure browsing is something I definitely want to dive into in another episode. And you threw an acronym out, so I'm going to press the acronym buzzer. Uh, what's LTSR? It's the long-term service release that we announced last year for Zen App and Zen Desktop. Yeah. Awesome. All right, so we'll get into that in yet another episode yeah. as well. All right, so long-time Citrite driving products. The product we want to talk about here today, Kariti, is of course Zen App Essentials. I'm going to switch, make you presenter now. Sure. So Zen App Essentials, we launched it in April this year. Uh, it's a new Citrix Cloud service. Uh, 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 yeah, so one of the key things uh, that we focused on when we launched Zen App Essentials was to uh, drive down the simplicity of the management, the deployment uh, 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 workflows, uh, uh, and the, uh, just the overall admin experience. So uh, uh, we believe we achieved that. Uh, so uh, a lot of the uh, 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 core management functions are delivered as a service. Mm -hmm. And uh, the the second thing is, uh, it's it's underneath. It's still Zen app. So it's the primary purpose is app delivery. So we deliver Windows apps to any device. Mm -hmm. So a customer can bring their own Windows images uh, uh, and then uh, publish apps and deliver it to any device. Okay. Uh, the the key thing about Zen app essentials is it's been optimized for Azure. So all the workloads are going to be running in Azure, Azure only. Uh, we uh, we built it uh, for Azure Resource Manager, so we can take the take advantage of the full scale of Azure, mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, we still uh, leverage HDX, so you get all the greatness of HDX with Zenapp Essentials as well, the same uh, 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 superior in-session experience, and you can take advantage of all the uh, supported Citrix receivers to connect your applications. All and right. Finally, is this an enterprise place? Is this a small mid market? Who's buying Zen App Essentials? Uh, so I would say uh, it, it, it's primarily focused towards SMB and uh, mid market. Okay. Uh, that's one of the key reasons why we kind of focus so much on simplicity. Yeah. And why are people using this? What's the number one use case? 
for Zen App Essentials? Uh, I think one of the uh, the key use cases that we heard from customers is the uh, uh, the temporary worker scenario. Uh, okay. So because this is being sold to the marketplace in a per user per month fashion, uh, it's easy for them to kind of buy uh, when they need it. Uh, mm -hmm. spin up more resources in Azure as they kind of find new workers come in. And yep. once the workers leave, they can easily spin off and they can basically uh, 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 dial down the service if needed. All right, Kari, uh, I'm going to back you against the wall on this one, even though you don't have a wall behind you. We'll consider it, I'm backing you against the virtual wall. What's the limitations? Where are the bodies buried for Zen App Essentials? What can't I do? Yeah, so since we are targeting for this uh, uh, SMB mid-market, we focused a lot on simplicity. But when you focus on simplicity, you have to make a trade-off in terms of flexibility. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, the all the uh, uh, for large enterprises who are used to our studio, which has all the knobs and dials, you won't have that flexibility with Synapse Essentials. Instead, okay. you you would see a new web-based console. Uh, which uh, uh, which is kind of easy to kind of it's like a wizard style workflow. Uh, mm -hmm. The other key thing is you'll only uh, the storefront is managed by Citrix for you, so you can't bring your own storefront. Okay. Uh, the Netscaler is also managed by Citrix for you, so it's delivered as a service, so gotcha. you can't bring your own Netscaler. And uh, the Director is also kind of uh, you scale down version of Director, so but okay. uh, you still get to see the session. Uh, 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 information on all of that, but uh, you don't get the advanced reporting capabilities that uh, a platinum director gives you. Okay, so like you said, small, mid-market, or even departmental bases within an enterprise, it doesn't give you the full management and monitoring capabilities, but still. Exactly. Okay. Uh, hey, Kariti, how do I get started? I'm kind of flapping in the wind here. I've got you know, an Azure subscription, but what do I do? How do I get that? Yes, so let me just walk you through the workflow. So the, mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, as I said, it's sold through the marketplace. It's fairly simple to sign up. Uh, so all you need is to have a Citrix Cloud account, uh, an Azure account, go to the Azure marketplace, buy, search for Zenapp Essentials, buy Zenapp Essentials. Once uh, it has been provisioned, you go to citrix.cloud.com, uh, since the workloads, the, the VDAs run in your Azure subscription, the first step would be to link your Azure subscription where we would provision your VDAs. Mm -hmm. uh, the second thing is you bring us the, uh, the image which has all your applications, the VHD in Azure, so you just uh, upload the, uh, the VHD. My uh, own image. Yeah, your own image. Yep. Okay. So, uh, so it's very simple to create. It's just spin up a VM in Azure. You mm -hmm. install all your applications, install our VDA, shut it down. Uh, it uh, a VHD is uh, created. You just point us to the, that VHD. Okay. Uh, and then uh, once that's done, you create uh, go through the process of a catalog creation process, as mm -hmm. part of which you specify which Azure subscription you use, which image to use, and finally, uh, once the deployment is done, you can publish the apps that are available on the image and mm -hmm. uh, tell us which users get access to it. And at the end, you get a storefront URL, which we now call as the workspace uh, uh, URL. So mm -hmm. you just give it to distribute it to your end users, and they can use any of our receivers to uh, uh, log in and access those applications. And where are those? You said you publish them to the users. You tell us what users should have access to these applications that are running on the VMs I uploaded to my Azure subscription, but where are the user accounts being stored? Are they in Azure? Is it an on-prem Active Directory? Is it Azure Active Directory? Yeah, where are they? That's a great question. So we support on-prem AD as well. Uh, right. So uh, you can, the traditional domain controller, you can actually even have it running in Azure if you want it. That's one option. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, the second option is we support Azure Active Directory with the domain services enabled. Uh, so all the VDAs need to be domain joined, so that's why we require the domain services to be enabled. Uh, you and then, said I could have my domain controller in Azure from on-prem, so am I creating a secondary domain controller in my Azure subscription that's connected to my on-prem with a site-to-site -site VPN? That's uh, that's typically uh, what uh, most customers, that's the best practice recommendation. So the one then uh, in Azure uh, will have a one-way trust to the on-prem AD. Okay. Yeah, that's Got kind it. of like a recommended uh, best practice. Okay. Hey, Kariti, is PowerPoint one of those applications I can throw up in Azure, uh, in Zen App Essentials on Azure? 
yeah, you definitely can bring a PowerPoint, publish it, and access it uh, from any device. Yeah. All right. Can we get out of PowerPoint then and get into a live demo? See what I did oh, there? Oh, yeah. I led you right <laughs> into it. <laughs> I should have known better. I've known you for so long, Sean. <laughs> All right, what are we looking at here? So this is the main overview page uh, for Zenapp Essentials. This, uh, so this is the admin console. Um, so you would log into citrix.cloud.com. Once you sign up, you access to the uh, Zenapp Essentials service. Yeah. Okay, so now I need both an Azure subscription and a cloud.com Citrix Cloud subscription. Uh, that's or right. Account. So the workloads are uh, going to be running in your Azure subscription. But mm -hmm. before you buy, the reason why we ask for an Azure account is because you're buying through the Azure Marketplace. Right. So okay. that, that account is going to be built for your Zenapp Essential subscription. All right. So I'll be paying through. I'll be paying a subscription fee through uh, CitrixCloud.com, and my Azure consumption will be a part of this too. Just yes. So, okay. So just so everything's up on the board. Okay. So all the billing is happening through Microsoft uh, Azure. Mm -hmm. uh, so there are three components that you're paying for. One is the Zenapp Essential subscription, mm -hmm. which is a per user per month fee. Uh, because we are running on the Microsoft Remote Desktop Services stack, you are responsible for the uh, RDS CALs as well. In case you already have them, you can bring it on. Or okay. we make it easy to buy it from the same uh, transaction as part of the Zenapp Essentials as well. Uh, okay. The third one is the all the VMs on which your apps are hosted, the VDAs that are running in your Azure subscription. That is purely based on your usage of resources. Okay. All right. Kick it off. Where are we? At zenapp.cloud.com. What are mm -hmm. we doing? Step number one. So, so the key thing is you would go to the manage uh, tab. That mm -hmm. this is uh, the replacement for Studio. So, if you're familiar with Zenapp on prem or the full Zenapp Zen desktop services such as cloud. If you had clicked on this one, you would get the studio. So we have replaced this with the new web-based console. Mm -hmm. The key things, as I said, was to first bring your Azure subscription, to link your Azure subscription so that we, the Zenapp Essential Service has access to uh, create resources in your Azure subscription. So the step is fairly simple. Uh, like you would just click on add subscription this will essentially redirect you to the Azure portal. Uh, okay. and, and then you would uh, uh, log into the Azure portal. And you're essentially linking the two together right now. Yes. So my account uh, uh, has only one subscription and it was already linked. It's in the background. So that's why it's mm -hmm. saying a subscription already linked. But yep. you could just uh, uh, click on it and it, it will uh, hit the link button if it was not linked. Okay. So that's that's as simple as that. So this is the subscription that I was trying to link. The mm -hmm. next step is the master image, uh, uploading a master image. Um, so uh, for quick POCs, we have already have a Citrix prepared image, which already has our VDA installed with some simple applications. So okay. you can kind of skip the image creation process if you just want to kind of quickly try it out. Yep. Uh, but more. Most uh, production customers will bring their own applications. Uh, so as I said before, uh, the process of creating an image is very really simple. You spin up a VM in Azure, install your applications, install the VDA, shut it down. There's a VHD created. And now you just tell us where that VHD is. So you tell okay. us the Azure subscription, uh, the resource group in which the, uh, uh, the storage account exists. Yep, from within uh, so Azure, from within, within your Azure, Azure subscription. Yep. Yeah. And then you just pick the, uh, let's say, this is my image, and you can give a name for that. Let's say this has all my Office applications. I'm mm -hmm. just going to give it a name and hit Save. And that's it. So that's the uh, completion of the import of an image. Bada bing, bada yep. boom. Yep. <laughs> gotcha. And then now we go through the process of a catalog creation. That does it for this episode of Tech Talks To Go. Thanks to my special guest, Karini Valacherla, who covered ZenApp Essentials with us. Make sure to subscribe to this channel to get all the latest updates and episodes of Tech Talks to Go. Read the blogs, citrix.com slash blogs. Search for Kariti. I guarantee you, he's the only one you'll find. Make sure to tune in to episode two, where Kariti will lead us through a demo of catalogs. Look in the Azure Marketplace for your own ZenApp Essentials. 
And if you have questions or suggestions for future episodes of Tech Talks to Go, leave them in the comments below. We'll read them. I swear. Thanks, everybody. Ta-ta. Ta-ta.